Supply and demand are the only forces that determine the price of a particular asset. A lot of traders try to overcomplicate the workings of the stock market. But the truth is that if we understand the supply and demand dynamics of the asset, then we can easily generate profits from it. So in this video, we will learn how to use supply and demand to find good setups and trade them. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our new videos. With that being said, let's get into today's video. Supply and demand trading is so powerful that it allows you to spot high probability reversals and ride the moves to the exact end. Therefore, in the recent years, it has become one of the most popular ways of trading. But why does supply and demand work? When we talk about supply and demand, we are essentially talking about the big institutions that buy and sell in huge quantities. We as small retail traders do not influence the market. It is the demand and supply dynamics of these big institutions that influence the market. The problem for them is, they cannot buy a certain amount of shares in one single order. If they do so, the price of the asset would skyrocket and their orders will get filled at a very expensive price. Hence, they divide their positions into small parts and buy when the asset comes near their desired price. Look at this image. Let us say that a certain hedge fund wants to buy 10 million worth of shares at this price. So, they divide their position into three parts. They buy 4 million worth of shares here. That pushes the price upwards. But soon enough, the price comes back near their entry. So they buy another 3 million worth of shares here. And lastly, they buy another 3 million worth of shares on this dip. So now, they have successfully bought 10 million worth of shares at the same price, without hampering the price action of the stock. Our goal for this video is to learn how to identify supply and demand zones, and how to trade them. So first, let us start by identifying the demand zones. To identify a demand zone we need to follow two steps. Firstly, we will look for a big and steep up move in price. In other words, we are looking for upward moves with successive big green candles. Here is a strong up move. Here we see a couple of big green candles that appear and form a steep up move. When you compare their size to the size of these previous candles, we can clearly say that these candles are way bigger than the previous ones. So the step one is complete we have successfully identified a strong up move. Step two is to identify the origin of the move. By origin I mean that we need to find the beginning of the move. This particular move started from this candle. So we will mark the high and the low of this candle. The area between these two lines will become the demand zone. Hence, when the price comes back to test the area. The price quickly finds support at the demand zone and the price makes a higher move. Now let us look at the steps to identify a supply zone. Just like the demand zone, the supply zone can also be identified using two steps. Step 1 is to look for a strong and steep down move that has big red candles. On this chart, we have a strong down move here. Here we see big red candles formed subsequently. Look at the size of these candles and compare them with the candles before. We can clearly conclude that these candles are way bigger than the previous ones. Hence, we have clearly identified a strong down move. The second step is to find the area where the down move began. In our case, we see that the move started from this candle. Hence, we can mark the high and the low of this particular candle, and the area between them will become the supply zone. Therefore, when the price comes back into this area, it finds strong supply, and it immediately reverses to form a strong down move. At this point, I must point out that all supply and demand zones are not equal. Some are stronger than the others. Strong zones have the following characteristics. 
Number 1. The strength of a zone is determined by the move it makes. Zones with a big and strong move will be more powerful than the zones with smaller moves. Number 2. New and more recent zones will be more powerful than the zones that are old and were created a long time ago. Number 3. Untouched zones are stronger than the zones that have been tested. Drawing supply and demand zones is a very subjective job. Hence, as you practice more, you will become better at it. So, we have learned how to identify the supply and demand zones. Now, we shall learn how to trade them. Let's start by trading on a demand zone. Look at this chart. Here we can clearly see that the price made a strong and steep up move here by creating these consecutive big green candles. Now we find the candle that started the up move. Here is the first candle that started the up move. So we mark the high and low of this candle. And the area between becomes our demand zone. The entry is very simple. We will place a buy order above the demand zone. So, as soon as the price hits the demand zone, our order will be executed. We will keep our stop loss below the demand zone, and we will keep our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. After this strong up move, the price comes back to test the demand zone. It touches the demand zone and our order gets filled. The price gave a strong up move after our entry. Now, let us look at a sell trade on a supply zone. Here we can clearly identify a strong down move. The move was pretty steep and it made big red candles. Compare these red candles with the previous candles. We can clearly see that these candles were a lot bigger. So we find the origin of the move. Here is the first candle that started the down move. So, we mark the high and the low of this candle. The area between these two lines becomes our supply zone. So, we place a sell trade below the supply zone and keep our stop loss above the supply zone. We can place our targets at 1.5 is to 1 risk to reward ratio. After the down move, the price makes a pullback and tests the supply zone. This candle triggers our order. And as you can see, the price makes a strong down move after it touches the supply zone. Hence, we successfully closed the trade in profit. That brings us to the end of this video. If you like this video, then be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss on any of our future videos. See you soon.